Hey everybody, welcome to the Hofstra University Sports Journalism and Broadcasting Institute webinar. My name is Kevin Dexter, the Assistant Program Coordinator. Uh, thanks so much for taking a couple of minutes to learn more about our program. It's very exciting. We've grown a lot over the last several years, have a ton of exciting courses to offer, and uh, we hope you enjoy this next in 20 minutes or so. As we'll give you a little bit of an overview and hope to see you at one of our classes in the near future. So as I said before, I'm the assistant program coordinator. I run this program with a uh, gentleman, another sportscaster named Keith Irizarry. Uh, Keith, as you can see here, has been nominated for a couple of New York Emmys as a play-by-play -play announcer during his career. You can hear him every day on NBC Sports Radio nationally as part of the Chris Mannix show, also on Under Center with Mark Malone later uh, at nights on NBC Sports Radio. And he's also a fantasy football analyst on that other pregame show on CBS Sports Network. So if you're a big fantasy football person, Keith is a guy you want to make a connection with. He can help you set your lineups uh, every Sunday during football season. Uh, Keith and I have been on for almost five years now uh, trying to expand this program. As I said before, we've done taking it from two courses about five years ago to now almost 20 courses, I believe we have um, that we run throughout the year. It's an 11-month program and we're really excited about um, how we've been able to expand uh, over the past several years. As you can see, Keith has a ton of uh, other experience in the past, also a Hofstra grad, as am I, so we love to uh, continue the pipeline here at Hofstra uh, and have people not only come here for our programs, but hopefully come to school here when they decide on a college and continue uh, their sports casting careers uh, after that. So a little bit more about myself. I work on both television and radio, both locally and nationally, uh, working on 1010 Wins as a sports anchor on the weekends and also as a sports anchor at CBS Sports Radio and locally. You may have seen me on News 12 Long Island as a sports anchor as well. And I'm also the play-by-play -play voice of the Long Island Nets, the NBA D-League affiliate, soon to be G-League affiliate. As the uh, It's going to be called the NBA Gatorade League starting next year. Uh, of the Brooklyn Nets, their inaugural season was this past year at Barclays Center in Brooklyn. And starting next season, they'll be playing at the new Nassau Coliseum here on Long Island. So just across the street uh, from us here at Hofstra, uh, very exciting, hopefully you get a chance to come out to some games uh, and watch some games, uh, but also uh, get a chance to uh, you know come see us here at Hofstra, as we've said. I also, as I mentioned before, am a Hofstra graduate, and we have a bunch of other instructors that help us out throughout the year. We'll talk a little bit more about them as this goes on. So sports journalism, what does it mean? The fundamentals uh, include, but they're not limited to, researching a topic, so we'll teach you how not just to you know, know the information from watching and listening to other broadcasts um, and other people around the industry, but how you can find what websites are good to use, how you can take that information and put it on a sheet in front of you and know what we call a chart in the business and know exactly where that information is going to be and how it can help you come time for when you're in the moment, you're calling that game, doing play-by-play, -play, and know you need that certain note or certain stat and where that's going to be. Uh, at that specific time. Interviewing skills, very important of course in this business, not just for doing an interview on the air, but also how to get information out of a coach maybe in a pregame interview that might not go on the air on the pregame show, but it's something that you can use, uh, as I said, as if you're a play-by-play -play announcer or your talk show host, you can use that information and help make your point uh, during your broadcast. Public speaking, very important whether you're going to be a broadcaster in the future or you have um, the aspirations to be a broadcaster in the future or hey maybe you just are interested in this you decide after the fact that this may not be the career you want to go into but having that public speaking experience is something that will help you in any walk of life and any job uh, that you may have in the future it's something that's very important and the increased communication skills uh, that our students leave with uh, leave this program with it's something we see all the time. Kids who come into our program who maybe aren't the best communicators or a little bit shy and from taking a couple of our courses uh, over the years really have become better communicators, uh, which is something that we're always uh, very happy to see. Uh, organization of speeches, how to make sure that you know, all of your stuff is organized, as I said before, how to answer questions on the fly, and also uh, television and radio presence, how to conduct yourself when you're on camera, or when you're on the radio, whether that is doing updates or hosting a show, stuff that we will um, we'll get into here as this webinar goes on. 
Um, we offer a variety of programs, as I said earlier, up to 20 different courses. We have a couple of courses that are more generalized, where you'll get a taste of every different thing um, that goes on in sports casting. You'll get a little bit of a taste, a couple of hours here of all different things, play-by-play, -play, hosting, TV anchoring, radio, and etc. And then we have more specialized classes. If you're interested in just play-by-play, -play, we have a play-by-play -play course. If you're interested in just radio hosting, we have a radio hosting course. Uh, let's take a look at some of those courses here. We will in just a minute, but first let's get you some fun facts about our program. 15 years we've been in this business. As I said before, Keith and I have uh, been in charge of developing this program for about five years now. Um, we have up to 20 now different program choices. Mentioned before a couple of the different ones, and we will get into that as this goes on. Uh, over 900 students over these 15 years have attended our programs, and we have students from here on Long Island, of course, but New Jersey, we've had a student, one of our favorites over the past a uh, couple of years coming from Toronto, Canada the last two summers, uh, a great kid who is now continuing his sports casting career in college, uh, Connecticut, Pennsylvania, Virginia, Miami, Texas, California. We now have the ability uh, to have students, if you're of a certain age, dorm here on campus during the summer. Um, that is something that we've focused on and it looks like it's going to be able to come uh, to fruition starting this summer. So if you're from out of state and you're still interested, this is uh, something that we can accommodate for you, uh, which is exciting and we hope to get a lot more students, not just you know here from Long Island, but also uh, from other areas as well. Uh, since 2000, over 60 students have, attend, uh, have attended rather Hofstra University after the fact, as we said, uh, like to always have kids who come through our program when they pursue this in college, uh, come here to Hofstra, but you're not limited to it, of course, we encourage wherever fits for your family and whatever fits for you um, to you know, pursue those dreams. And there's plenty of good schools you can go to um, that have great sports journalism and, and broadcasting programs. And some guest speakers that we've had, so I mentioned we have a, a, a couple of other instructors who help us, but not limited to some big names on this list, as you can see. Uh, Kenny Albert comes every summer, great guy, great broadcaster, one of the only guys who currently does all four major sports professionally, and he's great at it. Uh, someone that I always enjoy hearing when he comes to speak to our students every summer. Mike Breen has come a lot uh, recent summers, another great guy, the best guy in play-by-play, -play, uh, and as far as basketball is concerned, a guy that I look up to a lot, and just hearing his stories and the people that he knows is, is so enjoyable uh, and seeing the look on the kids faces when they meet a guy who they you know they watch doing the NBA finals uh, is very cool Freddie Coleman another great guy who comes every summer who hosts on ESPN radio Spiro Didis who does uh, NCAA tournament college basketball also college football um, for CBS Sports Kaylee Griffin Mark Malone Shannon Spake Kelly Tennant Tracy Wolfson uh, just a couple of names that we've had in the past couple of years and we're always looking to uh, expand our roster of uh, guest speakers uh, with different people that Keith and I know in the industry and all people that take their time. We really appreciate that they, you know, whether it's an hour or two, three hours uh, to come down or whether that's on Skype or here in person to, to talk to our students and uh, give some valuable advice. All right, our certificate program, uh, something that we developed a couple of years ago for teenagers, as most of our courses are, from 12 to 18 years old, um, if you complete six required courses and two elective courses, we give you a sports journalism and broadcasting certificate. We've had over 25 students complete it over the past couple of years. Uh, our courses can be taken as individual classes. You don't have to complete this certificate program, but what it does is when you're going to apply for college and you want to get into a, a broadcasting school, whether that's Hofstra or Syracuse, Fordham, you know, you name it, there's a, a ton of schools, as I said before that have great broadcasting programs, it allows you to have something tangible to say, hey, I completed these courses, I have some background uh, experience already, and it lets you get a leg up on some other students that are coming in without that kind of experience to those schools. So it's a real benefit. Uh, we've had a, a ton of students, as you can see, over 25 students have completed it, and they really enjoy spending so much time with us, and we enjoy that experience with them because it's not just you're coming for one class, you know, one summer. It, it can be completed over the length of, you know, four or five summers if you want it to be or, you know, during the year during our semester courses. But for the students that we have who stay completed in one summer or over the span of a spring and a summer, 
it lets us see them all the time and lets us really see that improvement. And from the first course that they come to, to the last course when they complete their certificate program, you really can see the difference in the communication skills and the broadcasting skills and especially the confidence that these students have to know, hey, I really enjoyed this and I think this is something that I want to pursue and I think that I can do uh, in the future for a career and I want to pursue this in college. And that's, that's really fun to see. Um, and I, I guess you said we get, uh, as I said there, we get um, give you a you know a piece of paper, a certificate, along with a um, official student transcript that you can send, put on your college application, and and show places uh, just how much experience you do have for, uh, by taking our courses. All right, here is a summary of our program offerings. Um, they are subject to change, but. These are our core courses. Our Introduction to Sports Casting for Teams, we will get into that in a second. That is our staple week-long course we run every summer that we've been running for over 15 years that you get a taste of everything. We're very excited about the Introduction to Sports Journalism for Young Women course, uh, focusing on the young ladies who are interested in getting into the business, something we're excited to branch out and uh, start up again this year. Intermediate sports casting for those students who are a little bit more advanced, who have taken some of our courses already to get that next step and more of a hands-on feel. Uh, and then you can see our other list, we'll go through them individually here, of some other courses that we offer. Uh, also, advanced programs, a capstone course we offer that if you complete our certificate program and say, hey, Kevin, hey, Keith, we want to do more. We don't want to stop right now. Uh, say you're only 15, you're a sophomore in high school, and you want to do more um, before you get into college and continue to get that experience. We offer this capstone course where you can tell us, all right, I want to come in for a day. I want to host my own radio show. We had a, a young man come in who did it for two days last year. It was our first ever capstone course we ran last summer. So the first day, he wanted to host his own radio show. We got him a couple of guests, uh, and he was on the air for two hours as if he was hosting his own show. I acted as his producer. It was a ton of fun. We listened back, gave him some critiques on it after. And then the next day, he came in, and he wrote his own 10-minute Sports Center style show. We got a bunch of highlights, and he anchored that all by himself, went home with all the tapes for everything we send you back. Uh, I should mention that as well. Everything you do with us, capstone course, intro course, all of these courses, you will get a copy of your work. In addition to the certificate, you will get a chance, and that's what the uh, the resume real course is for, you will get all of your TV anchoring segments you do with us, all of your radio segments you do with us, all of your play-by-play -play segments, and in the resume real course, if you want us to help you edit that into a, you know, a tangible resume reel to send out to colleges or to potential jobs as well, uh, that is a course we offer. But you will get a copy of everything, uh, even if it's just to you know, brag to your parents and your family about all the cool stuff uh, you did over the summer at Sports Broadcasting Camp. All right, our introduction to sports casting for teens. Get hands-on experience, in-depth critiques of your work in the classroom, and as I said, your skills in this class, this is the, the, the course that we give you a taste of everything. How to write, which is very important in broadcasting and something that a lot of young people that want to get into the business overlook a bit and don't realize how important it is. So we'll teach you how to write. We'll teach you how to report on television and radio. You'll get a taste of play-by-play. -play. you get a taste of TV anchoring interviewing both in person and with a guest on Skype and a lot of as you can see the the photo of one of our students and Kenny Albert the guests that come in a lot of times make themselves available for our interviewing segments which is a lot of cool uh, very cool for the students a lot of fun uh, also how to handle yourself in a press conference and to piggyback off of the anchoring you know how to read from a teleprompter which is something that a lot of people um, you know don't realize is a skill it's something that is difficult some students struggle with it at first but we'll teach you all of these things and you'll get a taste as I said, of everything, and you can kind of judge from that, okay, I, I really like TV best, or I like radio best, I like interviewing best, and determine what it is that you want to pursue uh, more in the future or with future classes with us. So Introduction to Sports Journalism for Young Women. Uh, it will be taught by Amanda Puglisi, who we will talk a little bit about, get you some more background information on her uh, as this goes on, who works as a sideline reporter and a host for a News 12 Varsity covering high school sports uh, here on Long Island, also in New Jersey and up in Westchester. It's open to young ladies between the ages of 12 and 18 who have that passion for sports and you know, are looking for an outlet to pursue their dream. Um, they'll be taught very similar to our intro course, 
a lot of those same fundamentals, how to prepare, how to write, how to do interviews, how to do on-camera um, segments, and we'll have other fellow female sportscasters along with Amanda as guest speakers, and it's something, as I said earlier, we're really excited for because we know there are a lot of young women, and we've, we've talked to a bunch as, as this class has gone on. A lot have come to our courses and, and mingled in with a lot of the uh, young men we have um, in our courses, but a lot of them want their, you know, their own environment. And to have you know, six, seven, ten young ladies all and be able to have their own, um, you know, their own course and their own chance to really pursue uh, everything they want to in that environment from other female sportscasters who have been successful uh, in the business is something we're really, we're really excited about and um, hope that we can get a, a lot of people interested uh, in, in the coming years. Oh, I jumped a little too fast there. All right, intermediate sports casting, as I said earlier, um, we learn more advanced techniques in this course. So it's for more advanced students who have completed our intro course already and some other courses as well, where we will let them have more of a hands-on experience, as you can see in some of the photos, handle some of the behind-the-scenes equipment uh, that you know is very important in television that a lot of people don't realize how to run a camera, how to you know handle the teleprompter as you can see in the bottom right photo, uh, how to operate things in a control room, how all of those aspects are developed um, into a television broadcast, and also how to you know report and shoot, edit your own report, um, not just be on camera, but also you know how to shoot that report, how to edit that report, more of a as I said a hands-on feel for the behind-the-scenes aspects. Uh, of broadcasting that are also important to learn and something that some students might say, hey, you know what, I don't like being on air so much, but I really like this part and I really want to, you know, be a, a photographer, a, well, a photojournalist uh, when I get older and run the camera or I want to be a behind the scenes person, you know, in the truck of a broadcast, which we will have on site for this year's intermediate uh, course, a truck to let you see for a remote broadcast that you, you know, you're watching a, a baseball game or any sporting event on television, that's where they run the production from, and our students will get a chance to see that uh, coming up this summer. All right, sports casting research and prep is kind of similar to what uh, I was talking about before with those charts as we talk it uh, talk ab about them in the um, in in the business, how to find all of that information on a website and put that into a chart in front of you so you know where that information is and um, where you can find it during your broadcast and also a lot of the rules of the game that you may think you know but we have an official uh, come in a, a couple of occasions during this course to really explain the rules of the game so you know when you're on the air exactly what you're talking about because there are a lot of nuances and a lot of things if you're watching a, a game as you know that you may not always pick up on and may not always know um, is a real rule in you know, football. What you see that happen, I feel like a lot in, in an NFL game. Oh wait, that was well. Why is that? Well, we will try to explain that the best we can uh, to you in this course. Uh, writing, blogging, and social media. Social media, of course, very important in today's media landscape. So, how to write uh, and record local and national radio updates. Also, a script for a television sportscast, and then we will also write blogs. Uh, in this course and how to promote them on social media, uh, how to take those positive aspects um, of you know, putting yourself out there online and your opinions out there and how they can get noticed uh, to get you, you know, opportunities in the future in broadcasting and journalism. All right, preparing and conducting sports-related interviews. What constitutes a good question? This is something that uh, us instructors are very passionate about who, what, where, when, and why, and how, too. Don't want to discount how. Those are questions. Anything else? Hey, coach, can you talk about this play? Eh, not a question. That's something that we will talk about uh, in this course, how to organize your notes and make sure you can memorize your question without looking down at your piece of paper. Uh, that's also important. How to listen to the answers and ask follow-up questions. Very important skill that uh, sometimes goes unnoticed. And... We will have interviews uh, in person in this course and also on Skype and on the phone. So a lot of different ways of teaching you uh, students how to do different styles of interviews that you see uh, in the business. Sports radio hosting, well, 
If that's what you're interested in, this is the course for you. If you want to be the next Mike and Mike or the next Mike Francesa, Mike and the Mad Dog, uh, this is the course where we'll show you what goes into developing a rundown for a radio talk show, researching those topics so your opinions can sound informed, uh, how to interact with callers, and then once our final class comes around of this, usually it's a couple day course over the summer or we'll run it in four or five separate installments, whether that's in the spring or the fall. That final course, you're going to be on the air hosting your own radio show and get a chance to uh, do it for real. And as I said, you'll leave with a demo tape which is uh, very cool and you can show it off to all your friends and you know put it on your your resume when it comes time to apply for college. TV hosting and anchoring very similar if you're interested in you know being a sports center anchor or Geico Sports Night on SNY as I know a, a show that a lot of people interested in New York sports uh, watch every night to get their highlights. We'll teach you how to read from a teleprompter, how to read those highlights, how to do a live interview on uh, on television and how to write your copy as well. Writing very important as I mentioned earlier. All of this will be recorded in our professional television studio. We have two brand new studios here and a new building at Hofstra University. State of the art, brand new. We're running all of our classes in uh, now and we're really excited for the first time to run this TV hosting and anchoring class in our new television studio. Uh, producing and editing, another more behind the scenes class, a lot more that goes into sports casting than just that finished product that you see and hear on, uh, on the air. So we'll give students a chance here to run the camera, edit highlights, produce a television and radio package, um, and get a, a real sense of what goes on behind the scenes. And as I said earlier, similar to the intermediate course, if you want to work in sports, you don't know if being on the air is what you want to do. Well, maybe a course like this will show you exactly what off-air jobs you know, are involved in sports casting and what uh, you may be interested in in terms of those. Uh, TV sports reporting, very similar to the hosting and anchoring, how to be a sideline reporter, you know, network sports reporter uh, on television, how to develop a package, and how you can... You know, as a reporter, you see those hits. You know, I'm using Sports Center as another example. In the morning before an NFL game, how you can get all of this information, put it into a concise 45 seconds, and put it out on the air for the viewers to understand and digest um, is a skill, and that's something that we will, you know, help you um, pursue in this course. Hosting pre- and post-game shows for radio and television, that is self-explanatory as well. Ins and outs of pre- and post-game shows, there's something that a lot of you I know watch um, when you are you know, watching your favorite team's games, want to see the interviews post-game or hear what the coach has to say before the game in the pre-game show, and we will get a chance to do that and show you just exactly what goes in to hosting those pre- and post-game shows. Uh, Roundtable hosting is a course that we have a lot of fun with because... There's a lot of opinion shows on television and radio now, and I know a lot of the students we get into our courses have a ton of opinions. Uh, we end up getting into a lot of arguments, um, you know, that, not, not too heated, but arguments, um, you know, with differing opinions, just like, you know, anything in sports. Um, and we teach you in this course how to take those opinions and instead of, you know, speaking about them um, in a way that, you know, sounds uninformed to make sure you have the facts that back it up instead of just spitting something off because it's something you feel knowing that, all right, I feel this way that, you know, this player should be the MVP. Russell Westbrook should be the MVP of the NBA with having the stats to back it up as opposed to just saying that because that's what you think. And that's something that we really focus on in this course and you'll get a chance to debate your fellow students and instructors uh, on those topics that we come up with. Play-by-play -play for TV and radio, again, they're a self-explanatory one, give you a chance to put the headset on and call the game, baseball, football, hockey, basketball, you name it. We have a ton of experience between Keith and I in calling games, uh, probably uh, definitely over 1,000, maybe 2,000 between the two of us. So we have some great guest speakers um, for this course as well and the techniques that it takes for each different sport and also the differences between television and radio play-by-play. -play. Uh, Sportscasting 101 is very similar to our introduction to Sportscasting course. This, though, we run during spring break. So if you're watching this before spring break here in 2017, uh, there's still room left in our course. It's only a couple of weeks away at the time I'm recording this right now. So get signed up 
uh, as I said before to the intro course, very similar, will get you kind of nuts and bolts of everything you need to know uh, in sports casting, a little taste of everything to see what you may want to pursue in the future. Uh, vocal coaching, how are you able to uh, sound the way you're supposed to sound on the air? Hey, you ever, you know, watch TV or listen to the radio? How does that person sound that way? That's what we teach you in vocal coaching, how to use a lot, uh, utilize your voice to have that proper on-air sound to make you sound uh, like you're on the air. Resume uh, Reel, I talked about that a little bit earlier. So if you have taken a couple of our courses, we will, if you take this course, show you how to develop your resume reel that you can send out to colleges and to future jobs. And our capstone course, which I talked about earlier, if you have completed our certificate program, you get a chance to sign up for our capstone course and have a chance to, you know, tell us what you want to do. If you want to host your own radio show, come in for a couple of hours, have us work with you on it. We'll do it for you. On your own television show, uh, your own debate show, anything you want, that is something that we will allow you to do in our capstone course. Our dedicated specialized training room. So as I said earlier, we have brand new studios. I'm right now in our brand new audio recording studio, and we have a brand new television recording studio uh, that we'll be running our classes in from now on. We're very excited about that. And we also have you know, desktop, laptop computers, state-of-the-art computer labs, and the latest technology. Uh, here at Hofstra. So our audio recording studio, as I've talked about, named after our program coordinator, Keith Irizarry. You see a picture of it there. Um, all of the latest state-of-the-art equipment. There are some pictures up on our website. And also, uh, if you haven't yet, if you've gotten this far and you haven't followed us on Twitter, at HofSportsJourn, again, at HofSportsJourn, have some photos up there of the audio recording studio, the television recording studio, uh, named after myself, over 400 square feet, like I said brand new, HD camera, teleprompter, microphones, everything you could want to make it, you know, as state of the art as it gets, like you are on the air for real, on, you know, pick your station you want to be on, ESPN, SNY, Yes Network, News 12, like myself, it looks just as good as all those places and you will get that real world type training. All right, our other program instructors, as we said, Vinny Micucci, great friend of uh, Keith and I, who has been in the business for almost 20 years, and he is our vocal coaching guy who uh, operates voicemaster123.com, a real expert in the field, a guy who has done a lot of play-by-play -play, uh, for Major League Baseball during his career. He's covered World Series and All-Star Games, has done uh, TV and radio play-by-play -play of Major League Baseball games, and... Uh, is a real great guy, someone that you really enjoy. He's the fun guy in our group as well, the guy who uh, cracks a ton of jokes during our classes and keeps everybody loose. Uh, Dan Savarino, who is a, uh, a young broadcaster, graduated a couple of uh, years ago from Hofstra and then joined our staff, uh, called uh, New York Islander Games on the radio during his career at Hofstra, does a lot of uh, high school and local college broadcasts here in the area currently, uh, and a guy who brings a lot of experience in his short time in the business. Mentioned Amanda Puglisi earlier, who works for News 12 Varsity as a host and reporter, who will be heading up our Intro to Sports Journalism for Young Women course, and also will be helping us out in our other courses, who uh, does a lot of uh, a lot of the reporting and getting, you know, on the sideline type of stuff, and, and can pass along those skills to our students. And Scott Green joining us this year as well, who does anal uh, analysis for high school football, basketball, and softball, I believe, as well, uh, on Verizon Fios, ESPN3, One World Sports, has a lot of uh, experience doing that, and will kind of uh, give you that aspect on what it's like to be a color analyst and reporter as well. Also, Brendan May, who helps us out, a, a real success story for us, a former sports journalism student who took our courses for about four years in high school, gone on to Penn State, and him along, uh, and along with uh, another one of our former students, John McHugh, who went to Penn State, became the first freshman to get their own radio show on Penn State Radio. A really cool, real proud moment for us. He comes back every summer, is graduating this May, and um, you know helps us out every summer. Uh, we love seeing the growth that he has shown during his time at Penn State as well. And as someone who took this program, he provides a unique perspective, I think, for our students uh, that he can kind of relate to them a little bit more as someone who, who came through this program and help them deal with maybe some of the challenges and difficulties they have uh, learning all of this new stuff, which is very new uh, for a lot of our students. 
Uh, guest speakers, talked about them a bit before. Kenny Albert, a guy who does so much in the business. Uh, we really love having him down every year. Mike Breen, as we talked about earlier as well, who is the premier basketball play-by-play -play guy uh, in America. Freddie Coleman, ESPN radio host, comes down every year as well. We love having him. Uh, Vin Parisi, who is a college basketball insider and analyst for SNY, uh, contributes to NBC, WFAN, MSG, uh, Mac broadcast as well, and he's a former basketball coach, so we have him down uh, every summer as well. Kaylee Griffin, who currently works as a reporter and sideline reporter for the San Antonio Spurs, used to work for the Big East, so we love having her uh, as a guest speaker. Kelly Tennant, who covers the Dodgers out in Los Angeles, uh, also is a guest speaker with us. And as I mentioned some of the names earlier, Spiro Didis, Shannon Spake, Amy Trask, Tracy Wolfson, Mark Malone, and Steve Gelbs, all guest speakers that we hope to have again this summer and we've had in the past. So discounts and payment plans. We have early registration discounts available for all of our programs. So if you register early, you know you want to come join us this summer. You can save by registering early, so please do that. For our summer programs, that tuition includes all of the supplies you'll need and a catered lunch, and also interest-free payment plans are available. More information, head to our website. If you got to this webinar, you're probably already on our website anyway, but look around. Plenty of information on there. ce.hofstra.edu slash sportsjournalism. We want to get in touch with our director in continuing education. His name is Mike Chesina. He is gladly awaiting your email and your phone call, michael.chesina at hofstra.edu. And as I said before, follow us on Twitter at HuffSportsJourn, and you can also follow us on Facebook. All right, that's it. Uh, thanks so much for tuning in. Hopefully you, you've stuck with us this entire time. I don't know exactly how long I've been talking, but it feels like it's been a while. Uh, thanks so much for watching all of this, and we hope to see you this spring, summer, or fall. Uh, or fall. Now, I've been talking so long, I'm messing up. Our spring, uh, this spring, summer, or fall at one of our Hofstra University Sports Journalism and Broadcasting Institute classes. Thanks so much for watching.